Damn, man. Patrick Martin, he just got beat up by Joss Near. This is a crazy fight. Joss Near literally just destroys him. I'm right about to show you this clip. It's, it's insane. This is a pro UFC fighter fighting someone who doesn't even have one fight. Joss Near has 66 fights. This is crazy. Check it out. Come on, man. Come on. All right, so you guys just seen the video. I know what you're thinking. That was brutal. It was crazy. I seen it myself like 20 times. And I could hear somebody say right in the video, right in the beginning of the video, that's enough. If you look like at the set, at the two second mark, oh, that's enough. I think the reason why he say that is because he was getting beat up before that clip. And I looked at a different source where uh, Patrick Martin speaks up and says, yeah, you know, I was waning on points and he cheap shot at me. I don't believe that. This guy was in that position for a reason. When you check the, the text messages that someone had posted in another video, you could see the text messages where he's talking trash on Josh Near. He put himself in that position. If you if you love one another, if he was if he was just to be a kind, calm person, respectful fighter, not talking trash on UFC fighters, not talking trash on a on a veteran MMA fighter, Josh Near has beat Dwayne Ludwig. He beat Mac Danzig, who's a a raw vegan. He beat Joe Stevenson, and he beat Melvin Gellard. Those are all all great UFC fighters that he beat. He has fifty seven wins. He's got 14 losses and one draw. He's got a, a, a pretty big record. And this guy, Patrick, if he would have been doing something better with his life, instead of talking trash on fighters, he was at a bar when all this happened. If he wasn't drinking, this would never have happened. If he wasn't drunk, getting drunk, being at a bar, this would never have happened. He should have just kept his cool, stayed calm, be respectful. If you don't have anything nice to say, just keep it to yourself. But no, instead he wants to get all drunk, Wild this up, wild, get this UFC fighter all mad, get him all wild up. And, and Josh Near, in my opinion, he shouldn't have fought this guy. But nobody's perfect. I might have done the same thing. But at the end of the day, he beat him up bad. He beat him up real, real bad. And I feel bad for the guy who got beat up. But at the same time, he got what he deserved. And... And I come from the streets too. And sometimes you see him getting elbowed like repetitively. They don't jump in right away. The people from his gym don't jump in right away. The reason why they don't do that is because they know he's getting what he deserved. But man, even that kick at the very end, he gets kicked. His whole head just snaps back. I mean, you could replay it. I'm going to put this all together. I'm just doing a commentary of this video. It is brutal. It is very brutal. Joss Near is a professional MMA fighter. And he had a lot of power with those elbows. And this guy, he seems like the type of guy to be a, a, a trash talker and make it seem like, oh yeah, in the beginning of the video, I had beaten him up or this and that. No, nah, this guy got beat up the whole, it only shows a short clip when he gets beat up. It doesn't show what happens after or what happens before, but just judging from what I see in this beginning of the video, he got his ass beat hard. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's what I got to say about that one. And uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I post personal training videos. I post uh, martial arts videos. I'm a, I'm a martial artist myself. And uh, yeah, check it out. Have a great day and God bless.